What's going on, everybody? My name is Abby, and as promised, I said I would do a full rundown on the new iMovie app updates. So here we go. We're in the phone here, and this is for iPhone users, just in case. Uh, we're gonna go ahead into iMovie, and immediately, if you have updated, if you don't see this, then you need to go to your Apple Store and go ahead and update. But three new things that we automatically see is Magic Movie, where you can choose your media and let iMovie create a movie for you, okay? Then we have Storyboard, which is using beautiful templates to easily create a video movie trailer. And then we have our regular movie, where you can pretty much do everything by yourself. So here are the game-changing things about this update. With the Magic Movie, pretty much it creates it for you. So for all of my friends who may be struggling with creativity or maybe you just don't feel like editing it yourself, you can put together different situations to where iMovie will just make it for you. Um, so let's go through that. Let's say, um, well, I just recently came back from an awesome adventure in this place called Socotra, right? So what I'm going to suggest to you all is, let's say you recently come back from a trip, a conference, what have you. If you put everything in one album, so you can create an album. Let's go to that just really quickly. Go to your photos and you can press select, all right? On your photos, you can select things that you have done. And what you can do is press this up button right here. And with that, you can add it to an album, right? And when you add it to an album, you can create a new one, all right? I'm gonna cancel because I've already done that. So let's head back to iMovie and we're gonna take this example of my adventure and we're gonna allow iMovie to create the resource for me. So my album here is Socotra. I click it and the great thing about it is you can either click which ones you want to include or if you created the folder, you can just press this, move, this button right here, create magic movie from this album, all right? So I'm gonna click that and let it do its magic, clearly. And let's see what it's created for us today. So I have about, I think 21 clips and it's taken certain segments out of those clips for me. And let's see. It also picks some music and stuff. So let me turn on the music, sorry. Okay. All right, so you get the idea. Uh, with that, it's picked 51 seconds out of the 21 clips that I had put in that album, all right? So, let's see here. What it's done is it's just taken up. It took four seconds from here, this picture. Two seconds, two seconds, three seconds, all right? But there's more things that you can do. You can either add to put in more. Well, this is the select button um, probably will allow you to delete, duplicate, or you can just say done. Um, also, when you select these buttons right here, these three lines, I'm sorry, will allow you to change the order of the sequence. Ooh, it even gives you a new group. Not really sure what that does, but it made a new group. Okay, uh, either way. So you can press down with that. Another thing that you can do is when you tap on it, this little pencil item here, you can replace it, retake it, or edit clip. So you can replace with a different clip from your album. You can retake it with a photo or video. Let's press that, let's see what that does. So you could insert yourself here and retake it in real time, okay? Also, you can edit the clip. So let's say you don't want that particular two seconds that's been there or, where you, or you want less or more. You can extend the clip by just holding down on the edges and changing it there, all right? And so this is the raw in a sense, the raw editing here, which Magic Movie has done for you. And you can just change maybe the areas that you want in here, make it longer or shorter, okay? Um, all right, so let's go back. So those are our basic things here, okay? Uh, formatting and using the album to just create your experience immediately. Um, we can press on this button here which is for the Magic Movie, and we can choose a style. So they've updated a lot of new styles here, so you can see what Essential looks like. This is pretty much like the text and how things are are, are laid out, um, and the the vibe or, you know, whatever, the style of the, the video. So uh, you can just download 
those certain ones let's pick one today abby all right we're gonna go with poster okay i don't know why okay so i'm not connected to the internet anyway um all right synth here you go right so we have that now we have also the opportunity to choose music um some of it is soundtracks from imovie itself and they have their own little library depending on what your style is you might want to put your own music but if you are putting your music from your phone be wary or be aware of um, what you choose because if you put it on social platforms um, you could get flagged um, but you can also upload things from files if you're a person that uh, creates your own music all right you can change the colors all right so default pink orange purple let's go with some purple today all right uh, next thing font uh, so you have a couple different choices with the fonts that you want let's choose Rockwell all right, and filter. If you want filters over your videos, that's not my groove all the time, but you have that opportunity as well. Okay, and then after all that is said and done, you just press literally done. Okay, um, and so from here, we can press done again if you're happy with this. All right, and this is where you can view it. So you can go to projects and it's just right here. Click on it again. Let's say you want to edit it again. You just press edit. All right, and I want to take you back inside of the editing here to edit the clip and just see if you needed to edit clips. There are more features that you have in iMovie on things that you can do. So you can um, add titles, add text, change the volume, adjust the music, add a voice over. If you have an iPhone that is, I believe, 10 or above, you can uh, control cinematic things. But these are basic things. If you're already familiar with iMovie, those things are there. All right, so that is essentially Magic Movie. You create a movie with predetermined media and it does it for you, all right? Next thing we have here. So if you ever come here and you see your former projects and you wanna know where the other thing is, you can just swipe up here and you'll see it. Storyboard, let's get onto Storyboard. Let's click onto Storyboard. These are different templates, if you will, for things that you wanna create, okay? So let's go ahead and for the sake of it, since I already have the media, choose trip and let's see what they advise for creating trip in their template. All right, I can choose a style again. Um, we're gonna stick with essential today. I can choose the music ahead of time. All right, or we can modify it a little bit later. Let's just stick with what we got. Okay, we're gonna go up and press create. Oh, also, well, yeah, press create, press create, yes. We're going to press create. <laughs> All right. And this is where you can see a preview of what they're trying to help you create. So you can press play and you can see there's the wide shot. All right. So it gives you step by step. So it's going to show you what it's going to look like. Okay. Medium shot, medium shot, close up. All right. So these are awesome templates instructions on how you could create this type of media so we're going to go in here and let's find a wide shot from some of the footage that i already have we press it we press edit we can choose from library we can do it in real time so if this is something that you want to do right then and there you have something that you're working on you can rename the clip edit clip all right so let's choose from library and i'm going to go to album since i already have sakotra and we're looking for a wide shot remember wide shot this is a wide shot Great, I've added that wide shot. Title over the footage. All right, title over the footage. Um, let's go, so Kotra, no, Kotra 2020, <laughs> 2022, not 2020, amen. All right, so we're gonna go back. All right, title over footage. Which footage are we gonna choose, Abby? choose from the library um let's go with this one since i'm coming out of the airport okay and then we're going to choose a medium shot medium shot let's go ahead and add that so that's another thing we can do instead of pressing the the pencil we can just press the plus button choose from library another medium shot what we got here do, 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 do. this is medium enough great um, another medium shot. I'm not going to take us all the way through there, but this is where you can, um, pretty much plug and play. Let's, I'll put a close up in there since I have a close up already there. Here's a close up. Great. All right. And what you'll see here is they have predetermined times 
on how to make this and you can change it however you want. All right, so once you're doing all of this here, you've added all of your media to this here, go back and just play what they have. They've taken 20 seconds of this here. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit, keep playing. All right, then it continues on. We see they have 35 seconds of this footage and you can go in and take out like the audio because this was very windy for me that day. But once it gets through there, it's going to keep going. You can add text. So it's a very um, amazing way of learning how to tell a story. And you've already been given the like <laughs> the cheat sheet to tell you how to do it for the next time for if you want to start editing these things on your own. Okay, so play around with that. Uh, once again, you can go up to this button right here and you can choose a different style if that's what you if you needed to edit anything um, and just go forward. If you wanted to share anything, you press this this up button and you share it. You can save it to your phone, so on and so forth. OK, now we're done with we're not done. Sorry, we're done with the traditional storyboard. But who's ever created a trailer? in there so if you were looking for trailers it's hidden in there too so you go auto you can scroll all the way down past all the storyboards and trailers is right here at the bottom when you go into trailers they've added a few more different templates as well um, and you can view them before you start so if you wanted to make an indie one you can just press play see that is one minute and seven seconds it's going to give you a nice little intro Okay, and it's the same concept. Oh, actually, we're watching Bollywood. Look at that. Okay, but it's the same concept of storyboards where you go right in. I want to click indie. All right, either way. Well, let's create. Let's go and see what they have for us. So go ahead and press create once you've picked yours. And so this is the storyboard. All right. So you can change the names of it. So we have a, a girl. We have a boy. Two shots. Action shot. Medium shot. It's just plug and play is what I like to call it all right so if I go a girl and I go to recently added where is a girl a girl like me um, also remember remember friends that with iMovie specifically you need to make sure that your media is horizontal they do not as yet do vertical uh, footage which is a little bit annoying to me um, but I guess they'll come along when they want to Here's a girl walking and I press plus and I put it in there and yeah, I'm not going to bore you all with trying to do all of this stuff right here, uh, <laughs> but you get the point. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Y'all could do that. So I'm going to go back and edit it because I exit out, but you can put all this stuff It's telling you put a girl right here, put a boy right here. It's going to show for 1.6 seconds. This is going to show for two seconds. All right. And then by the end, you'll have an awesome looking, you know, intro, awesome looking, uh, what do we call this thing? Why am I lost? Do, 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 do. Trailer is what I'm trying to say. You'll have an awesome looking trailer. So by the end of this, after you've put in all of the things that they have suggested, you'll have an awesome looking trailer and the outline. So, uh, these are predetermined places in the story that you can just add, add your name directed by me, 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 me. So those were some of the new features that they have at iMovie, which I'm super excited about. It's going to make things for people who are learning uh, basic editing, especially with mobile phones, uh, a lot easier with iPhones and also students as well to be able to get the concept of how to lay things out. Um, a couple other things they have that are in there is uh, your titles. You know, they have more templates uh, and more fonts and things like that that you can play with. Um, and so I'm super excited about that. Those are the major changes that they've made. Keep playing around with it. Leave me a comment with what you've tried or what you enjoy or what is still missing so we can help um, Apple develop those things. My ask, my ask is to please allow horizontal and vertical footage and vertical footage. Okay, so my biggest frustration is that iMovie still doesn't have the capability to you know, edit horizontally and vertically. In the age of social media, we need both options. So they've done a great job with clips. If you haven't seen my clips tutorial, check it out in wherever I put the, the card there. Um, but one of the hacks that I found to help with um, iMovie, if you only have vertical footage, is to go ahead and edit it vertically 
and then there is a hack inside of our phones to where we can get rid of the uh, extra blank footage if you will so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to um, add some media Let's see video something that I've recently done uh, we'll click this one here and we will add it now as you can see it is not formatted correctly. It is more of a one by one inside of this 16 by nine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press it and I'm going to press this plus sign here and I'm going to pinch to zoom out. Now I have that nine by 16 ratio that I need, okay? Um, and if I needed to add any more things, you just you just continue to add it, but make sure you zoom back out. All right, so I'll add just another something in here just for the sake of you all seeing it. So plus, uh, remember that is not the size I want. So I click it, I press this and I zoom out. Okay. And so now I have this particular media and when I'm done, I press done or, you know, you can add all the types of information that you want. This is in the, the regular, um, editing. This is in the regular movie editing. Okay. So you have new things that you can add. You can do pretty much whatever you want but the purpose of this is for me to show you how to edit vertical footage and still get what you want so I'm gonna press done okay and then I'm going to download it here all right so if I were to play it here you see that I have this unwanted stuff all right and that's what I want it to stop okay and so I'm gonna export it I'm gonna put it in my camera roll exporting movie Okay, I'm gonna come up out of here, go to photos. I'm gonna cancel all of this and go to the very end. Show y'all something else that was surprised. So did you notice you can like zoom in and out of pictures and like literally two finger it to be able to see everything? That was amazing to me. Anyway, to be on point. So I believe this is what I just exported. Now, you see, I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with this. All right, I'm not happy with it, but I can go into edit. If you didn't see that, let me show you again. Sorry. Edit and crop. Crop that thing. Slide that over. Slide that over. And done. All right. Now I have the proper formatting that I need for a video that was edited in iMovie. It's a little bit of a hassle, but it's something that can be done if this is a program that you like to use or you want to continue to explore. I have talked for a while, friends. I appreciate your time. I uh, look forward to providing more material and tutorials for you. Comment below um, for any other program that you're interested in learning. I'd be happy to share it with you. Also, give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and you got some value. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Abby Teaching Afar and Abby Teach Afar on Twitter. But thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.